Okay. We're going to begin sitting on the mat. Any comfortable seated position with a straight spine. Doesn't matter which position, just sit comfortably. And we will begin with the breathing technique called Surya Kriya, which is also detoxifying breathing technique. So it's cleansing the body and the mind. We're gonna uh, close the left nostril with the left thumb. So only the right nostril is open. We're gonna breathe in and breathe in out through the right nostril. So not from the mouth. And we're gonna make a fist with the right uh, arm. So the right palm is making fist. As we inhale, we're gonna extend the right arm over the head opening the fist. As we exhale, we're pulling down and gently hitting the lungs. This is a combination between Bastrika and Kapala Baldi and alternate nostril breathing. So inhaling forcefully, exhaling forcefully. And you can keep on breathing with your own pace. You can close your eyes. It's good to close the eyes so that you can be aware of what is happening inside. Don't allow yourself to be disturbed by the sound that your breath is creating. That's a very powerful breathing technique that is cleansing the mind and the body and especially the lungs. So we are breathing out all of the dirt, air that is settling down somewhere deep in the lungs. Eyes should be closed. If you're getting a little bit dizzy, this is normal. This will fade away very soon. And one more last time. Relax your both palms and the knees, eyes closed. We're breathing only through the right nostril. The right side of the body is the active. In yoga philosophy, it's associated with the sun, with heat, with masculine energy. with the conscious. And there is usually a difference between both sides of the body and between both nostrils. And this we're gonna compare. You can open your eyes just for a moment to, to see me. So we're gonna close the right nostril with the right thumb. And we're gonna breathe in and breathe out only through the left one. So maybe the left one is kind of stuck, or maybe it's easier to breathe in through the left one. We're just going to compare the difference. You make fist with the left uh, palm, inhaling, opening the fist, extending the arm, exhaling, pulling down, gently hitting the lungs, forcefully inhaling, forcefully exhaling. And keep on breathing with your own pace. Eyes should be closed. You don't have to, but it's better so that you can be more aware for the breath. Forcefully inhaling, forcefully exhaling. present for the difference between both nostrils, between both sides of the body. Just few more. If you're getting dizzy, it's normal. Nothing happened. It will fade away soon. One more last time. Breathing in and out and resting your palms on the knees. Eyes are closed. 
the left side of the body, the left nostril is associated in the yoga teachings with the moon, with the passive, with the cold, with the female energy and with the unconscious and emotions. This is also something that we have from the contemporary science, the difference between the right and the left brain hemisphere. And I find it fascinating that this theory already existed thousands of, year, thousands of years ago. Observing the breath for a moment. Long, deep inhalations. Maybe you feel like you have been running. Long, deep exhalations. A few more moments here. We are generating a lot of heat with that breathing. You can open your eyes just so that you can see me. We're going to continue with Kapalabhati. So you can bring your left palm on your belly. So Kapalabhati breathing. The right palm can make a, a mudra. Then mudra, index and thumb figure together. The other three fingers are... Uh, index, sorry guys. Index and thumb finger are touching. The other three fingers are together straight. Palm resting on the knee. Left palm is on the belly. We are exhaling and drawing the belly in. Only focusing on the exhalation. Exhaling, drawing the belly in. Inhalation happens natural. At the beginning, you will do it slow. And focusing on the rhythm. So it doesn't matter how fast it is. Just focus on the rhythm. And you can close the eyes and focus on that abdominal wall. Getting ready for the summer, burning this up. Eyes closed, we're creating a lot of heat in the body. Few more breaths. Pumping out all of the dirty urban air. One more last. Exhalation, rest your palms on the knees, closing the eyes, observing the difference in the body. You might be a little bit dizzy, this is normal. Spine is straight, whole center is lifted. This feeling after those intensive breathing techniques, it's maybe the closest that we can experience to meditation. So observe that silence for a few moments, be present. And whatever comes from your mind, whatever thoughts come, embrace it and let them go. Observing the breath, concentration on the breath, observing it as a spectator. How deep is the breath, how slow it is.
Allow yourself to be present here and now for the next around 50 minutes. You can take a deep inhalation. Deep exhalation and open your eyes. Before jumping on the mat for asana practice and workout, let's warm up the wrists a little bit. So uh, spreading the fingers and opening and closing the fists as fast as you can. So we want to prepare the palms and wrists and forearms. We want to have some arm support. So we want to wake them up as fast as you can. Just a few more moments. Strong core arms. And you can release and shake the wrists. We're going to find our way to standing position at the front edge of the mat. There will be around one foot distance from the front edge of the mat. Feet together, legs together. We will flow through this rotation A to warm up the whole body. Inhaling as you raise the arms above your head, looking up. Exhaling as you fold forward all the way down. Halfway up, flat back, head up. Inhaling as you exhale, bend the knees. Plant the palms on the mat, spreading the fingers nicely. Begin to bring some weight of the body on the palms. Step one foot and the other one back into a high plank. As you inhale, lean a little bit forward with your chest over the fingers. As you exhale, drop the knees on the mat. Bend the elbows, squeeze the body with your elbows, keep them close and go all the way down. Feet are flat on the mat. Inhaling, upper facing dog or cobra, back bend, looking forward or up. Exhaling, downward facing dog. We hold the dog for five deep breaths. Focus on your alignment. Make sure you're spreading all of the fingers. You're pushing the mat with your palms. You're breathing, shoulders are externally rotated, the elbows are pointing out and a little bit back. Inhaling here, exhaling, bend the knees, look between the palms, make sure your palms will be on the mat, you know, you're gonna lift the base of the palm, protecting the wrist, step one foot forward, Whenever you can reach, I step them behind the palms. And the other one, both feet together. Halfway up, inhaling, head up, flat back. Exhaling, folding forward. Raising the arms above the head, inhaling. Exhaling, palms together in front of the heart. We continue with the second round. Inhaling, raising the arms above the head. Exhaling, folding forward and down. Halfway up, inhaling. Exhaling, bend the knees, bring the palms on the mat. I bring them always a little bit in front of my feet. Spread the fingers nicely, push the mat with your palms, bring some weight of the body on your palms. Step one foot back, the other one back, high plank. As you inhale, lean a little bit forward with your chest over the fingers. As you exhale, with control, knees on the mat, squeezing the body with the elbows. You're gonna lay all the way down on the mat. Inhaling, upper facing dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. We're not gonna hold here this time, just for one breath. Inhaling. Exhaling, bend the knees, look between the palms without lifting the base of the palms. Step one foot forward wherever it can reach, and the other one together. Now we can lift the base of the palms halfway up, inhaling, head up, flat back, straight legs. Exhaling, folding forward all the way down. Raising the arms above the head, coming to standing, inhaling. 
exhaling palms in front of the heart. Let's do one more last round here. Inhaling, looking up, exhaling, folding down. Halfway up, inhaling, exhaling, bend the knees, palms on the mat, step it back, plank. Leaning forward as you inhale. As you exhale, bend the elbows. You can go all the way down to the mat, laying on your belly to Turanga. Upper facing dog, inhaling. And the upper facing dog, exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling, bend the knees, look between the palms. Step one foot forward and the other one forward. Halfway up, inhaling. Exhaling, folding forward. Raising the arms above the head as you come to standing. Exhaling, palms in front of the heart. Those were three rounds of Surya Namaskara A, Sun Salutation A. We're going to have one Sun Salutation B. We come somewhere at the front part of the mat, sit together, legs together. Bend the knees and come into a chair pose as you inhale, arms reaching in front of you. Belly in, knees back, heels down. Yeah, very good. Inhaling, exhaling, folding forward all the way down. Halfway up, inhaling. Exhaling, bend the knees, plant the palms on the mat. Step one foot back, the other one back. High plank. Leaning forward as you inhale. As you exhale, bend the elbows, squeeze the body to Turanga. We go all the way down on the mat. Upper facing dog, inhaling. Downward facing dog, exhaling. Now we have warrior one. Right foot gonna step forward only. I step it behind the palms. Left heel on the mat. If this is not accessible, you can always keep the heel up. Raising the arms above the head, inhaling first warrior right side. And exhaling, bring both palms on the mat. I bring them in front of my foot. Step back, high plank. Inhaling as you lean forward. As you exhale, bend the elbows chaturanga. Full chaturanga or modification. Upper facing dog, inhaling. Downward facing dog, exhaling. Left foot gonna step forward. Right heel is on the mat. You can always keep it up as you wish. Raising the arms above the head, inhaling. Facing forward with your chest. Exhaling, both palms on the mat all the way back. High plank. Inhaling, leaning forward. Exhaling, Chaturanga, or modification. Upper facing dog, inhaling. Downward facing dog, exhaling. We hold that dog for five breaths. Check your alignment. Make sure that you're spreading your palms and that you have enough space for your shoulders to be open. Spread the shoulder blade. Inhaling, exhaling, pushing your chest towards the knees. As you exhale, keep the dog as you exhale, push the chest towards the knees so you can go deeper and push your heels down. One more time, stay here in the posture, inhaling. Exhaling, pushing the chest towards me, feel the opening in the shoulders. And with the next inhalation, raise the right leg back and up for a three leg dog. We hold this for around five breaths, so be strong and breathe. Hips are parallel. If it gets too much, if you get dizzy, your palms are tired at any time, make a break, child's pose. We are staying upside down, so it's not easy when the, heart, when the head is below the heart level. 
Last time, inhale in here. Exhale and bend the right knee, squeeze it towards the chest, lean forward. And step the right foot on the palms. I step it behind my palms. A little bit of stretch. Drop the left knee back and down on the mat. For low lunge, you can raise your arms above the head. Palms can be together or separate as you wish. Both hips are facing forward. You can push your left hip a little bit more forward. Right hip back, both hips down. Lifting the heart, shoulders relaxed. Breathe. Equal inhalations and exhalations. Control over the breath. From this low lunge, we're gonna to move to half split pose. Right leg straight, left knee bent. And you can flex that right ankle and reach forward in front of you. There is a chocolate or I don't know what you like. Someone once said there was a book. <laughs> If there is a book, I would still go for the chocolate, but <laughs> whatever you want, you can think about it there. Strong core, reaching forward. Balancing here, this is a very difficult posture. We are balancing and engaging the deep core and stretching the backside of the right leg. Okay, inhaling, exhaling, you can bring your palms on the mat. If this is not possible, you can always bend the knee a little bit. We hold here, both hips are squaring forward. Hold center is lifted. If you want more stretch, you can also push the right foot towards you with the right palm. Stretching the Achilles and the calf muscles. I know some of you are running. A little bit of therapy for the feet and ankles. Last inhalation and exhalation in the posture. Both palms again on the mat. And we're gonna walk the palms towards the body and slide the hips back till we sit on the left heel. And you can now again walk the palms forward for a full fold. And breathing deeply. And breathing out. Just fold into your arm degree, so you don't have to compare your fold with anyone else because it's not about if you can touch the knee with the head. We are just stretching the back muscles and the back side of the right leg and breathing. One more inhalation and exhalation in the posture. We're gonna find our all the way back to the posture. So we're gonna bend the right knee for a low lunge. Walking the palms forward, sliding the right foot forward. And here I would bring my palms in front of the right foot just because it depends on the body proportions. So the length of the shin and the right, if I bring it on the sides of the foot, then I cannot lift my leg anymore. So as you wish, you're gonna bring both palms on the mat, Take the left toes on the left knee up and we're gonna step right foot back to a high plank. We do a vinyasa. Inhaling, leaning forward with your chest. Exhaling, chaturanga, bending the elbow, squeezing the body. Full chaturanga, keep the body up or modification all the way down. Upper facing dog, inhaling, looking up. Exhaling, down dog. 
We do the same thing on the other side. Left leg goes back and up, three leg dog. We keep the dog for five breaths. Approx, the yogic measurement of time is in breaths. That it means that the time has a different perception for everyone. Hips are parallel, shoulders are parallel. Steady breath. The posture is exact, the same as in the other facing dog, just one leg is back and up. And breathing in and out, bend the left knee, squeeze it towards your chest, lean forward, high plank knee in, and step the left foot on the mat, right knee down, low lunge. Both arms come over the head, finding your low lunge, palms can be together or separate as you wish. It's important that your hips are facing forward and your chest is facing forward. Stay in the posture and breathe. Check if the left knee and the left ankle are in line. Ideally, the knee is exactly over the ankle. Deep, steady breath. Last time, inhaling, exhaling, half split pose, left leg straight, right knee bent, pushing the hips back. Flexing the left ankle, it's an option. And we are folding only halfway up. And reaching in front of us for a box of chocolate, a book, or maybe your smartphone, <laughs> thinking the notification. So it's more difficult to keep the body up. If you experience any discomfort, especially in your knees, you should go out of the posture and don't force yourself. We have a lot of support now on the, on the right knee. So in case your mat is thin, you can always fold it and then bring your, your knee on top. Breathing in and out. Now we can rest the fingertips on the mat. If you want more stretch, left thumb holding the left toes, pushing the foot towards you, stretching the Achilles and the calf muscles. Check your hips so your hips should not be open, they should be facing forward. Focusing on the steady, slow breath. This is already half meditation. If you're managing it to bring the focus all the time to the breath, what is happening with the breath now? Is the breath deep? Is the breath slow? Is it steady? Is it fast? Is it shallow? Are the inhalations and exhalations equal? Last inhalation and exhalation in the posture. We're gonna walk the fingers back. Slide the front foot back till we find our way sitting on the right heel. And now we can just fold forward to the arm degree. Whatever feels good. Inhaling and exhaling, we're gonna go all the way back. Bending the left knee, sliding the foot forward, walking the palms forward. Low lunge, taking the right toes on the right knee up. Step the left foot back, back high lunge. Vinyasa. Or you can skip it and wait in a downward facing dog. Inhaling as you lean forward. Exhaling as you bend, elbows go all the way down into your chaturanga or modification. 
upper facing dog inhaling looking up exhaling downward facing dog we hold the dog for a few breaths and then we're gonna repeat that flow a bit faster and we're gonna add some more posture so we're gonna repeat it just for one breath so we're gonna move very fast and then we're gonna add some more postures and more difficult right leg goes back and up inhaling free leg dog exhaling as you squeeze the right knee towards the chest lean forward right foot steps down on the mat low lunge inhaling raising the arms above the head exhaling half split pose right leg straight flex the ankle reaching forward for the chocolate one breath here inhaling exhaling palms on the mat one breath here inhaling exhaling push your hips back and sit into your forward foot we are comparing the body is there any difference we are repeating the same posture one more time this time maybe it's easier maybe it's not all the way back to a low lunge right knee bend sliding the foot forward walking the palms forward now we're going to add more postures left toes stuck under left knee up the so called runner's lunge raising the arms above the head high lunge we hold this posture for around five breaths. It's almost the same as the low lunge, it is the knee is up. So your both hips are squaring forward. Your belly is in, your heart center is up. The front knee should be in line with the front ankle. Back leg straight. Breathing in and out we move to our next posture very similar to what we have done before extending both legs this time so front leg is straight a pyramid pose modification we're going to reach forward with our palms only half of the way we're going to hold this you might need to change the position of your feet to step forward or back hips are squared forward Yes, super strong, balancing, breathing, strong core. Maybe the back is also burning and the shoulders breathing in, almost there. Inhaling, exhaling, both palms will come on the mat. I always say whenever possible, keep the fingertips on the mat. It's healthier and it's strengthening the palms. If it's not possible to keep the front knee straight, you can always bend it. We are coming into this pyramid pose. Breathe in and out. The back heel is up, but you can always plant it on the mat if you want. It's a bit more difficult challenging the ankles and the hips you get to choose and the same posture has many options last inhalation and exhalation in the posture we're bending the front knee we're going to find the balance on the right foot and our palms to a standing split so we're going to walk the fingers forward we're going to slide the back foot forward till we find the balance on the right foot only and we're going to show the left leg back and up as much as it is accessible for standing split you can always bend the standing knee if it's not accessible to to bring the palms on the mat or if you have a yoga block or anything around that you can use for support go ahead and do it Lift the leg higher. If it's possible, keep the hips square. A little bit of opening of the hips is normal, but just not too much. Mm -hmm. 
If you want more stretch, right palm can hold the right ankle. You can go deeper into your forward fold and the left leg can go up higher. Breathing in and out. Last time, inhale. As you exhale, just step the left foot forward next to the right one. We are in standing forward fold. Now you can grab your both heels and you can go deeper into your forward fold. You can bend the knees and focus on the deep, steady breath. This is a mindful yogic breath. Last inhalation and exhalation in the posture. With your next inhalation, you can release the palms and begin to roll the spine up for vertebra by vertebra. Roll in the spine, coming to standing, preventing dizziness. And we're gonna flow back on the mat to repeat on the other side. Inhale and raising the arms above the head, looking up. Exhale and for the forward. Halfway up, inhaling. Exhaling, both palms on the mat. Bend the knees, you can step or you can jump back. If you feel warm, push with your palms and step back into a high plank. Leaning forward, inhaling. Exhaling, Chaturanga. Upper facing dog, inhaling. Downward facing dog, exhaling. Finding your dog, finding the distance between the palms and the feet. Check the alignment, check your palms, are you spreading fingers? And if we repeat the other side, left leg goes back and up, inhaling just for one breath. The first part of the flow we, we do fast. As you exhale, bend the knees, squeeze it towards the chest, leaning forward, left foot on the mat, right knee on the mat, low lunge. Find your lower lunge. You might need to slide the back leg back, the front leg front. Low lunge, inhaling, raising the arms above the head. Exhaling, half split pose, left leg straight, flex the left ankle, reach forward for the chocolate. One breath only here, inhaling. Exhaling, both palms on the mat. One breath here, only inhaling and exhaling. Slide your front leg back, sitting on your heel. Forward fold, stretching the back side of the left leg. Just for one breath here to compare both sides of the body. Inhaling and exhaling all the way back. We're gonna come to a low lunge. Walking the palms forward, sliding the left foot forward, taking the right toes under, lifting the right knee up, runner's lunge. And from here, extend the arms over the head, high lunge. Hips are facing forward, whole center is lifted. This posture we're gonna hold for a few more breaths. Make sure they're steady. Breathing in and out. Left leg straight, finding your pyramid pose. You might need to step the back foot a little bit forward to find the balance. And reach in front for the chocolate. Finding the balance, just a half forward fold. Reaching forward, pushing the right hip forward. The front foot is holding the mat, active foot. Back leg is straight. Inhaling and exhaling. Now we can bring the fingertips on the mat. Feel free to bend the front knee if it's necessary. Pyramid pose. Squaring the hips forward. Choosing your modification. 
breathing. Observing the breath. This is our concentration meditation, moving meditation. Always bringing the mind to the breath. This means we will have one more impulse less from the environment to proceed because we look inwards. Then we're gonna find our balance on the left foot, bending the left knee, walking the palms forward, sliding the right foot forward, finding the balance on the left foot. Right leg goes back and up for standing splits. Fingertips on the mat, somewhere underneath the shoulders. Right leg is back and up. Standing split. Try to not open the hips too much. Try to keep them square forward. Feel free to bend the standing knee if it's necessary, if there is any discomfort in the hamstrings. If it's easy, you can hold the left ankle with the left palm and go a little bit deeper into your forward fold, looking towards the big toe and lifting the right leg higher. Few more moments here. Breathing in and out and slowly step the right foot forward next to the left one. Holding your both heels and go deeper into your forward fold. Stay here for a few moments. Calm down the breath and the mind. And you can release the heels, vertebra by vertebra, roll in the spine. We're going to find our way to standing. A little bit balancing again. Standing on the left foot, spread the left toes, holding the mat, finding these neutral hips. Strong pelvic floor, palms on the hips. We're gonna bend the right knee externally, rotating the right hip and bringing the right shin bone on top of the left knee, bending the left knee and going down, squatting on one leg. Finding your balance here. Standing foot is active. The belly is in. Check your hips, they shouldn't be diagonal, this would be parallel to the mat. The heart center is lifted, the right knee is pushing out. Now you can bring your palms in front of the heart and you can go deeper, squatting a bit deeper and folding a little bit forward. If you're finding your balance here, you can do the eagle arm, so both elbows bent 90 degrees in front of your face. You can bring the left elbow on top of the right one, spiralizing the arms maybe one more time, finishing the eagle arms. If you like, you can also finish the eagle leg sliding the right foot behind the left shin, so you might need to lift a little bit your upper body. Breathing in and out, we're gonna release slowly the legs first, and then the arms. Shake the wrists a little bit, shake the legs one by one. Maybe you need to give yourself a little bit of massage. For the standing foot, a little bit of circus for the toes, for the ankle. And the other side. Now repeat the other side. Standing on the right foot, 
spreading the toes, lift the toes up, holding the mat, lifting the inner arch of the foot, palms on the hips, finding this neutral hip. So make sure that parallel to the mat, facing forward, belly in, heart up, bending the left knee externally, rotating the left hip, and bringing the left shin on top of the right thigh, bending the right knee and finding that squatting position on one leg. Once you're there, check your hips, they shouldn't be diagonal. They should be parallel to the mat, belly in, hold up, shoulders away from the ears. Left knee open. Palms in front of the heart once you find your balance. You can feel free to stay here so you don't have to do anything more. This is already difficult posture. Only if you want more, you can go deeper in your squat, sitting on an invisible chair. Taking your hips, bringing your mind to your hips are they parallel. If they're not, you won't be able to maintain the posture. When the hips are parallel, then we're engaging the pelvic floor and the glutes, and we can stay here for a long time. You can stay here or in the previous posture, so you don't have to do difficult things, but if you want, you can do the eagle arms, 19 degrees, both elbows in front of your face, right elbow comes on the inner side of the left elbow, spiralizing the arms, maybe one more time, finishing the eagle arms. If you like, finish the eagle legs, left foot will slide behind the right shin, or just squeeze the thighs together, and lift the upper body a little bit higher for the eagle pose. You're doing the eagle arms, lift the elbows higher. Breathing in and out. Last time. Inhaling, exhaling, releasing the legs. Releasing the arms. Shake the wrists, shake the legs. One by one, the legs. Wrists at the same time. And maybe give yourself a little bit of massage of the standing foot of the right foot, a little bit of circles for the toes, for the ankles. We're gonna find our way back sitting on the mat to stretch a little bit, do quadriceps after this intensive work. We're gonna come into thunderbolt pose Vajrasana, sitting on the heels. Option one, you stay here and you just walk your palms back, fingers pointing you and stretching the quadriceps muscles, so the front side of the leg. This is option one. If you have sensitive knees, you will stay here. Option two, both feet away from each other, sitting between the heels. And then you can do the same thing, walk in the palms back. So just choosing your posture. It's not about what you can do, it's about to stretch. It's really those muscle groups that we've been working so hard. We've been stretching a lot, the hamstrings, the back side of the legs. Now we get up and we finish also the front side of the legs. You can also bring the elbows on the mat if you need more stretch. Slowly come out of the posture, begin to walk your palms towards your hips. If you're sitting between the heels, then you have to lift the hips and bring the feet together. If you're already sitting on the feet, then just bring the hips on one side. Extend your legs forward. Bring the arms in front of you, flex the ankles, lift the heels up, arms in front of you. Now we're gonna round the spine. We're gonna bring the tailbone on the mat. We're gonna round the spine super slowly. 
allow the feet to slide towards you. Round spine, vertebra by vertebra. You know how you were coming to standing. It's the same thing. We are coming to lay super slow, vertebra by vertebra. We are coming again to standing. It is the picture is from a different angle. Vertebra by vertebra, massage in the spine. See, we find your way laying spine. Now you can open your feet at both edges of the mat, palms facing the ceiling. Shavasana, close your eyes here. And give yourself a break around two minutes in silence, just so that you can observe the breath, observe the body. Is there any difference in the body? Maybe there was something preceded, some emotions, feelings, memory that were stored somewhere in the joints or in the muscles or somewhere in the deep tissues. And maybe when we were moving and stretching intensively, maybe we burned some of those imprints that were stored in the body. So just allow yourself to be present. And if any thoughts or impressions come to your mind, just observe them. And just let them go. You can bring your awareness to your breath and just observe the breath in silence.
slowly bring the awareness back to your body. Begin to move your fingers and your toes, waking up the body from a deep sleep. Extending the arms over the head. Bending the knees, eyes are still closed, just moving around without rules, waking up the body, whatever is needed. Whenever you're ready, rotate to your right side. And through the right side, come to a seated position with a straight spine and closed eyes. Any comfortable position for you with a straight spine and closed eyes. Bring your palms in front of the heart and begin to wrap them as when you want to warm them up as fast as you can. Maybe you feel those little needles from your palms, that's your energy, the prana that you can give to your eyes and you can just cover your eyes with your palms and give them some energy. If you like, you can place your palms on your heart or on any other place that needs some more energy, maybe your shoulders, your belly. Your knees. And you can rest your palms on your knees and slowly open your eyes. Thank you for your practice. I will stop the recording now.